All right, hello 7A. I am trying something different this year. So this is the first of many videos that kind of cut down what I would teach in a classroom. So if you ever get stuck at home, I recommend watching these videos. Uh, notice how I'm putting the title of our chapter as well as the section and the pages in the book where you can find this. This is meant to help our e-learners and anyone uh, that goes home so that they have an extra resource to use. So we're going to jump right into it and we have expressions, variables, and the key word evaluate. So expressions are any term that uh, uses variables and uh, numbers and operations that do not include an equal sign. So combination of variables. They don't always have to include variables, but they usually do. Variables, numbers, and specifically when I, numbers and operations. Um, but no equal sign. So usually we use these to um, express different outcomes as we work. A variable is a placeholder for a number that can change based off of other items. So if we are talking about uh, days of the month and how each different day would have a different value. Um, so example, uh, the number of, not kudos, number of uh, wow cards cards in a month equals uh, W. And let's say every day you get two wow cards because you're a great student and you've been doing really well. Um, we would have W times two, where W is a an extra day in the month. So if we are on the, so if W equals 20, and there are 20 days have passed, you will have earned, sorry, ignore that W, 20 times two equals, you would have earned 40 WoW cards. Or if W was equals three, three times two equals six. Notice how the number that is changing is the variable. The whole point of a variable is that it can stand for many different values. And then this keyword will come up over and over and over in your math career. Evaluate means to solve for a specific value of variable. So solve for specific value. And what we're looking for is one final number. So an answer will be one number. Usually when we say simplify, uh, we talk about fractions, but if I'm talking about pre-algebra, if I say simplify, I mean bring it down to its basis terms. If they're like terms, we're combining them, but I'm getting a bit ahead of, ahead of myself. So let's take a look at what I mean by variable expressions. And variable expressions involve uh, an X and a Y or any, any letter to represent numbers. So we're going to say Y equals 24 and X equals 3. If I want to solve these, I am going to replace, replace or substitute. I'm going to use these words interchangeably. So you need to learn them and use them. Uh, 
I'm going to replace the variables with their corresponding numbers. I could have chosen any numbers. I picked these ahead of time to help with this lesson. So x is going to be 3, so replace, plus 24. So if I evaluate this, I get 3 plus 24 is 27, and it's done. Also, it's very helpful on homeworks if you circle your answers, so it's easy for me to find. Let's do number 2. If you want to pause and try these, that is up to you. So y is 24 minus 3, and we get 21. Circle answer. Now here's something a little weird. We talked about it a bit last year, uh, towards the end of sixth grade, but when I see two letters right next to each other, there is an implied multiplication. Also, I'm going to be using this instead of x because x is now a variable. So this dot means multiply. Multiply, sorry, I got stuck on the edge there. So I'm gonna rewrite this, but I'm gonna put the multiplication sign there. So x is three times 24. If you have a calculator, you can go ahead and use it now. If not, you can do this in your head. So 3 times 20 is 60, plus 3 times 4 is 12. So I get that this is 72. Let's look ahead a bit. So I have a variable expressions continued. I've got my piece here. 4. Y over 4. So 24 over 4. So 24 divided by 4 is 6. And 5 is x over y. We can replace x with 3 and y with 24. Well, anytime I've seen fractions, I want to reduce them. So I know I can divide both of these numbers by 3. Divide by 3. Divide by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. And 24 divided by 3 is 8. So my expression is simplified and evaluated once I've got it down to 1 eighth. The last thing I want to look at and probably the most important. Last year, we saw a whole lot of word problems. This year, they are called verbal models and word problems. And the biggest item that we need to face here is that we need to figure out some words that stand for uh, operations. So the four main, main operations that we have are addition, Subtraction, multiplication, and division. So I'm going to stop this now. I'm not going to fill this out because this is what uh, you will be given after you've done it, where I want you to fill out some words that mean these operations. So an example, addition, uh, one of the ones that I can think of is total. Uh, subtraction. I know we did this last year, but this is good a good reminder for everybody. Uh, subtraction. I would say difference. And I'm going to put a star next to this. And I'll see if anyone can explain why afterwards. Multiplication. Uh, times and division, I would have to say the other one is quotient. So I'm going to put a star next to this one. What makes quotient and difference different than total and times? So I will update this uh, in the future once we have done it as a class. But for now, this is the start. So take a moment and fill out this table so that you have an idea of different words that stand for different operations. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at jspeth at sanes.net.